Good morning, grasshoppers. Good morning, Aditya. Here we go, and we're off. Of course, we lost our translucent board over the weekend as we needed to. As we needed to scale back a little bit on the uh, board. Aditya. Interesting. What are you attacking? What does it all mean? Ooh. He was trying to catch me napping, and he indeed almost did. Gonna begin the pressure on the queen side. Control over e5 is eminent. There are some small threats in this position. And more pressure. Oh no, this is not going to bode well. It looks like a free pawn. Rook isn't going anywhere, is it? Well, he willingly doubled that one up. That's pretty cool. All right, so he has 97. Whoops. We do need this. And we need that as well. How are we going to win this? 59 seconds.
Wow, he was winning a pawn. He was indeed winning a pawn. Double attack. All right, moment of truth. Can we catch that pawn? No, huh? Whoa. Now we can catch the pawn. I have to remember we're playing three plus two. Three plus two, anyone can lose. Anyone's game to lose. Thank you so much for the game, Aditya. Where did our rating points go? Gats. Tapas New, are you in the arena? There are so few people that we're bound to play. Yes. I also have a viewer reward set up for the other thing as well. Let me do the shout out for Tapas New as he is plugging away at the streaming business. Using the Magnus Carlsen recommended technique of uh, exchanging the light squared bishop. But there are six rounds. <laughs> we have a lot of aspiring players. I can't believe that we've never played. That is so incredible and hard to believe. How am I going to get that piece? Exchanged properly. Wow.
unfortunately, we're not getting checkmated just yet. So let's see, we're up upon, it is time to return the favor. Que pasa? He did stop me from doing what I wanted to do. That was a good move on his part. I was going to play knight takes e5 on any other knight move. Now, is it a double attack? Is it a double attack? That's annoying. Did I lose my piece? It does appear so. We're going to have to boogie. We are going to have to boogie. Do a little bit of a song and dance. diving in somehow what in the world which way do we want to go Batten down the hatches. Battening. Battening. Woo, BMV. BM47. You had me. You had me. <laughs> I actually received another invitation from another streamer earlier this morning. I unfortunately gave them the same answer. 
I am so backed up in my studies that I do need to get a few things in before we play. But I'm hoping that we're going to play now. Let's see, I've played BM47. Just take care of this game, please. What? I could take this round off and then we will, I can orchestrate the pairing, hopefully on the next turn. Aldred Juris. Yeah, I'm not a huge believer, Tapas New, in, uh, in, in playing individual games without something on the line. Basically, there's a certain amount of accountability that I like behind every game. I mean, this is a sport when you have something to play for. So I have to weigh this up. We have six players right now. ITP Veer will get a full point, and I will probably end up playing him. And I have to play Aldrich Duras. So don't worry, we have four rounds to play each other. What is going on here, sir? Arham, just a heads up. I just want to give you a heads up that you are not grabbing any control of the center. I thought I could uh, wrangle some more time out of that one. This check is, in general, not really worth it. There's only one square left. All right, we're going to devastate the king side now. We'll return the pawn. Maybe even some squares in the center. What in the world? I have to send you packing. What route? Loss of material. Incoming. Keeping him tied up. Patience is a virtue. Let me just see here. Looks like it is winning the material further.
Can I get away with this? I don't know. That was unfortunate. All right, Tapas New Year, that much closer, yes? What happened? Dude, ITP Veer. In the game, the knights of my opponent, I couldn't see them. <laughs> Every single day, Tapas New, we have to improve ourselves every single day. Today we're going to, we're actually going to be at war with this particular variation. Can I do that? Or do I just keep attacking? I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to play Bishop to Chief War. Takes, takes. Let's do it this way. New approach. Not losing material. Not losing time. This may lose time, though. Among other things. It gets worse after king e2. Trust me. Knight f4 check winning the queen. Where is everyone today? It's only Wednesday. There are only five players. Let's let those four players play. This will uh, keep open the options. All right, Tapas New is getting closer. I believe that if he should take this encounter, and he should, then he will be the optimal player for me to play. Let's see how ITP Veer is doing. ITP Veer, VM, we're rooting for you. If Tapas New is going to play me, because you and I have already played. So I stepped out in order to make sure that the field catches up. And that hopefully we can orchestrate a game between Tapas New and I for the, uh, for the win. ITP Veer, though, is a heavy favorite in this game. BMV, do not move the same piece twice. I'm sorry, BM47, don't move the same piece twice. Use all of your pieces to the best of your ability every single time. Wait a minute. Top is new has complete control that's good don't get too fancy tapas new is taking advantage of and is taking care of business ouch ladder mate Nicely done. So in an ideal world, ours is the next pairing. So we just have to uh, 
<laughs> hey, some of the players are here are, are here to improve, so let's not let's not be too harsh on them. I actually don't really believe in such a thing as an easy game. When obviously there is such a thing as an easy game. I would prefer to think as respectfully as I can. Now, BM-47 is playing without a Ruck and a Bishop. There are some pawn structure problems, though, for Black. That is a very traditional pawn structure issue, though. Let's just see how that happened. Oh, Got it. Desperado to ruin the pawn structure. Was there another move that could have been done? G4 here. E4 here. Entirely positive why we allowed rook to g5 when we had h4, possibly. But maybe, maybe this is all part of a greater plan. Now that rook looks like it is in a spot of trouble. In fact, I think he's losing the exchange. The M47 has f4, followed by knight e2. This is a test of the emergency sniping system. I don't know if giving up control of F5 was worth it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You have to open up lines, sir. The strain of the burnout. Uh oh. Yeah, the bishop belonged on e2 in this last issue. Ouch. Time trouble has gotten the best of him. All right. It is ITP, Veer, and I. Unless we still have four in the arena. Is there one more pairing to go? Let me just make sure. But if we don't play now, all right, it looks like I have to play top of snoo after it's over. I just want everyone else to have a game. Ideally, everyone else should have a game. Top of snoo and BM47, two aspiring players, one a streamer. So you can't see the knights. I-S-T. All right, I have to look this up. Instagram standard time. Hold on. 
Oh, India standard time. Top is new, of course. I guess it would be IGST if it were Instagram stand standard time. So that means you're going to be streaming at 7.36. I mean, in uh, two and a half hours. <laughs> Give or take, obviously I'm rounding off. All right, for those of you in the chat, I will play a game against those who subscribe to the YouTube channel. Right this very moment. Well, not this very moment, but that's what I'm going to do. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will play a best of three match. Oh, no. That's not good. Of course you are. Of course you are. I'm in love, I'm in love with you, in love with you. We had Aaron Clit Aaron Cladis, who subscribed on July fourth. He kept his word. Aaron is a tournament director at the uh, World Open. Period four to period four algebra. So he teaches algebra. And he does a bit of programming. Aaron, you are the man. Napalm records. I like checking out the subscribers pages. That was very cool to check out. SLK Chess is at 99 subscribers. He actually needs one more. YouTube. Oh, you're not going to find the channel name. I need 100 subscribers to have a channel name. That is the tricky part. The link here is here. The link is here, ITV Bear. Did we miss playing each other this tournament? No, we did play each other. Get the hell out of my head. All right, no pressure. Tapas New is playing. I don't even remember. I will look again later. Did you have white? Was that the uh, pseudo Kali? I like the Kali Zukatort better. Honey, I'm a perfect 10. You have to make more of your whites. Ouch. BM47 will have his playing ability taxed by white's next move. I'm not sure. About what YouTube likes in videos. <laughs> I 
posted the uh, World Open Blitz, by the way, on the YouTube channel. The YouTube Blitz. We do need to do an intro uh, page of me walking around. Yay! Top us new. Small goals, small goals. Ladies and gentlemen, the inevitable, the inimitable Rogan Joe Sloan. That was hard work, right? But every day, Tapas Noob, if you can schedule it, try to put it in your calendar if you can. I believe my calendar is correct. I'm going to check it now. I just want to make sure that it's listed every day at 6.35 a.m. And that way, when you add it to your calendar, it will be your time zone. So this event should have started 40 minutes, well, 35 minutes ago, or less than 40 minutes ago, your time zone. So at 4.05 p.m., I believe. Yeah, absolutely. Because, it, I mean, I have never actually played a lot of my a lot of uh, our viewers directly and I've got hundreds of games against them because they're in the training every day. And then it mixes up the colors randomly and then you prepare for me and you improve your lines and then you prepare for me and then we play each other again in one of these tournaments. And that's what we're here for. I wanted to check out my game with ITP Beer. Oh, this was the, this was not the color. So yeah, bishop g4 is not supposed to be played, but I'm not a knight c6 person. So I think I'm supposed to play maybe e6. If I'm not gonna play, if I'm not gonna play bishop to g4. After all, what is wrong with bishop to g4? In the Masters database, black has two wins and a draw. There's nothing practically wrong with this move. White always has an advantage. Right? So queen to b3, queen to c7. Let's see this line. I'm not playing knight to b6. Why would I play that? I have a couple of moves I'd rather play. Such as trying to... Uh, with a threat of mate. I'm up a piece in this position. This looks very good for me. Enterprising play. Chess coach Andres. Namaste. I have him in our legends category actually. Of all of my favorite raid, uh, streamers who've raided me, Chess Coach Andres is easily the best. There, are, I'm gonna. All right, I'll stop. There are two things I, I definitely list as his. He always speaks his mind. He tells you exactly what he's thinking, even if you know anyone could possibly disagree with it. You know that he's giving you his full heart, and at the same time. He has infinite passion, infinite passion. You must follow chess coach Andres if you don't already among the few viewers that I have. No, thanks, Andres. You are the best. No, it's true. I don't have the same passion in my voice. I might have the same passion because I'm positive that we both love teaching to that degree. But to be able to convey it, I just love your demeanor and your even though you might get into trouble politically correctly by uh talking about some things and 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 people could you have their pansy feelings hurt you know <laughs> because you're just gonna tell it like it is 
Yeah, I'm not a knight c6 versus the uh, versus the Alapin person. So even in this position, I, I still like bishop g4 because it's dynamic. And after bishop c4, so they claim, or at least the statistics claim, I'm not using the engine. I don't like to use the engine at first. I like to feel it out. Here, bishop takes, this looks completely good for black. It looks like there's a smidgen of trouble, but I mean, how bad can it be? We're up a piece, pawn structure's ruined. This bishop's going to be tagged. <laughs> nice, nice. Also, chess coach Andres' uh, uh, chessable courses are also to the point. Even though I'm not an openings person on chessable, like I'm not a huge recommender of mindlessly going through opening variation after opening variation, and while some guys explain the variations better it's a little bit of you know learning the fire exits to the building rather than actually knowing what to do once you're out of the building and being able to fight on the streets uh, on your own for the most part this is really really a blessing wait a minute i started to type a shout out to you that was your own yeah I met Peter Svidler in 1994, so I was so happy when he raided so we could actually talk about some of the old times. He was, I don't know if he was 16, 17, or 18 years old at the time, but he was pretty damn young. But Chesko Andres, passion and truth in every ounce of his, uh, of his teaching ability. It goes without saying that he's a very strong player, he's a very wise player. But at the same time, you have players sometimes giving you advice that, let's just say, may or may not be sugar-coated. And he does not sugar-coat. <laughs> he does not sugar-coat. Which is totally awesome. So every morning I run these uh, training arenas for my small community. And on a daily basis where I dig up the birthdays of a variety of uh, world known <laughs> exactly and also I love like I have my grandson I have a three year old grandson Andres who comes in and he attempts to fill in well I mean obviously the cuteness factor is cranked up because of his age but uh, I love it when your daughter comes in for homework issues and things like that. It's absolutely priceless. You have to have her do that more often since she's of an age that she might even understand. You could even, uh, you could even play it for even more content if you wanted to, but obviously we're not supposed to necessarily uh, have our kids on the stream. But it's priceless and wonderful when they do come in. She is. One of the best things about being a father is just uh, the amazing, yeah, it's a bit dangerous indeed. Now my grandson comes in, I have a whiteboard to my right, and he just starts practicing his numbers. Even though I used to use the whiteboard for project management, my grandson has taken it over. <laughs> I know, and especially when, when you're having a rough moment and you're just trying to be light to your daughter that was i remember one moment it was absolutely hysterical you know <laughs> but of course all of them are you have a natural sense of humor i am much drier on the other hand i have more english roots and so therefore i don't quite get it across as well in the overt sense of humor in any event but i'm happy when my viewers do get it so meanwhile yeah, this is uh, this is a line. I just wanted to. I was just I was offering ITP Veer. So what happened in this line? Everything's all well and good here. I was black in this position. I'm just going to play this as solidly as I can. I'm not a huge believer in the uh, Alpin, only because if you want to grow as a player, you need to have wide open positions where you have a choice of plans and not necessarily a fixed pawn structure like the London. And occasionally, although this isn't the case here, 
because I'm playing dynamically as black, the uh, the alapin can lead to some uh, some positions where the bone structure is not as flexible. And then we move the same piece twice. Did we have a choice in this matter? I don't think so. And my move was an inaccuracy. They really want me to put my knight on c6. I avoid it like the plague, honestly, because I like the open files. Plus, I want to put the pressure on this uh, this pawn. And this was, oh, you just blundered. Ouch. I now remember our game, ITP Veer. This is an age-old... Uh, age-old trick that stems from like the earliest lines in the ECO to a great extent. I'm trying to think if the if the line goes along. I'm I'm having trouble remembering it now. There's the line with bishop c4. And the queen's on c7 and it skewers through to the uh pawn on b7. So even if white tries to guard the bishop then b but it doesn't work here. Are you streaming today, Andres? CCA. Yeah, you're, I think uh, your lesson on the center is priceless. I think of all of your, co of all of your courses, even though they're all good. Oh, nice. I really need to do something like that because at the moment I'm not doing this for profit as it turns out. I wish I could say that I was doing this for profit, but this month in the United States, um, I've decided to... <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's, it's just not quite enough money t in the comparison to the, the expenses of the world. But in any event, yeah, this month I'm donating all profits and revenue from my uh, stream to abortion funds in the United States. To be able to give people a choice. Well, you're 10 times me at the moment. And so therefore, <laughs> that's not about right. That's not a bad, that's not bad, but you're right. It's not, it's not what I make from my regular job. Neither is what you're making what I make from my regular job, which of course is teaching chess. I'm very blessed to have a faculty position at Columbia Grammar and Prep School. And we work very hard. We have a chess team, Andres. Uh, I think the most, I've, I have Grandmaster Mark Arnold, who came out of our program. I don't know if you would ever cross paths with Mark. He's a super nice and sweet guy. And he is my claim to fame as far as a number of other tournament champions that got me a FIDE trainer title, because I'm obviously not high enough rated to be a FIDE trainer if you go by that specification alone. But uh, fortunately for me, my work in publications with Grandmasters Robert Byrne, and I worked with Maurice Ashley in some projects and other things for, were well known enough to assure me of uh, the FIDE trainer title. They were very blessed. I would only hope, yeah. <laughs> YouTube is even worse. Yes. I need to start doing something with my YouTube in order to... Um... Wait, did I not put... Oh, no, I have to put the uh, the gobbledygook name in there. Hold on. Let's do this again. Edit command. I did everything with that command except put in the name of the YouTube. Let's put that in there real quick before I forget. Yeah, the gobbledygook goes away at the end. There it is. And apparently at 100 subs, let's do that command again now. But 
Apparently without that, you know? What? So I did put the link in, but Twitch does not like putting the YouTube in. How about if I just do it this way? That's so bizarre. The given command must be edited from the dashboard. Got it. Thank you so much, ITP Beer. It's a very rough channel at the moment. I agree. But it is hard to take it seriously when you have Goblin Guck at the end of your YouTube. <laughs> and of course, we're trimming up with the help of Rogan Joe Sloan in New Zealand. He is uh, attempting to edit the videos and trim out all of the uh, the downtime and 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 make them more efficient and more instruction friendly. Where did I do with my YouTube link? Where are you? You know you haven't been there enough until you've gotten your YouTube strike. Your random YouTube strike for whether it's copyright material or... I have one for spam or something, and I have to actually find out what community guideline I broke. Yes, I see you in there, ITP. Thank you so much. The IRL World Open Armageddon Playoff and Blitz event. Latest post. Latest important post, anyway. So... What I was going to say, ITP Veer, is that if you play the main lines of the Sicilian, or if you play, let's just say, more natural moves where you're not necessarily having to uh, think in immediate structure-based openings, rather than having, let's just say you play the Nidor, for example, as an extreme example, where you end up having to know every variation so that you don't get crushed, you're wasting a lot of time over just being able to find logical moves, let's just say in a classical Sicilian, or in a, uh, or even in the more mainstream, let's say Queen's Gambit Decline, where you could play very natural moves and concentrate on achieving a better end game. Really what chess is all about to a great extent is obtaining a better end game, whether it's through combinational means, tactical means, or, just grabbing space, time, and improving your position over a period of time and doing it the old-fashioned way. Because strong players are not going to give you free material, and strong players are not going to uh, let you checkmate them. So you're going to have to be playing for a better end game. Those are the only three ways you can win. And if you want to beat the better players, you're going to have to be very mindful, and you're going to have to study in order to be able to win the better end games when you have them. Getting back to our stuff here for the most part. Yeah, that was rough. So here, castles. Any move other than what you played, yeah? Knight C3 is what they recommend. But almost anything is better than what you did. I prefer, I thought I preferred castles. I'll check it here. Yeah. Castles of Knight C3. Neck and neck. I'm positive that Castles is going to win out because there's no reason to simplify this position in, in, in any manner. Or leave your king in the center. Now we have to return with some uh, studies. I'm way behind. Tiger Heart Person, my memorable games. What else do I need to produce? 
I also need to do some chapters for students on tactics. I don't believe you, Paul. I don't believe you. I think Paul 1e4 is a superb player. He has to fix his mindset, though. Chess, in chess, you have to flip that switch, and your mindset has to be that you're going to accomplish truly great things. That's all there is to it. If you cannot achieve truly great things, I'm sorry, you definitely cannot achieve truly great things by joking negatively. That's my world clock. I was looking for if I can find it. The place to uh the place to send you and given the amount of work that my uh, able-bodied study needs to do <laughs> well send you over to my good friend and YouTube editor while I raid I appreciate all of you. Namaste. I'm hoping to get caught up. We have studies on Ulf Anderson based on his birthday a couple of Mondays back. My memorable games, Tiger Hillard Persons games, Purdy and Kramnik. So that's Kramnik, Purdy, Tigers, my memorable games, Ulf Anderson's, that is 12 and a half hours of study streams ahead of us, and I have to get cracking as fast as humanly possible. What was the bug? Oh, on the, on the Invisible Nights. That's good. Good to know. Andres, chess coach Andres, one of the legends. I highly recommend that you definitely check in on all of these streamers. I'm not sure that Peter's Fiddler is streaming as much post-COVID. Uh, an early inspiration for me, Fiancata, because she has the same vocal style as I do, where she is hesitant and thoughtful. Cheers, everyone. Have a great day.